Summer 2025, a quiet night in Chile. The Atlas Telescope, whose job is to warn about dangerous asteroids, suddenly spots something that changes everything. Not an ordinary asteroid, not a local comet, a luminous point racing madly from the depths of space. At first, they thought it was a device error, but no, the third interstellar object discovered. Like a weary traveler who's arrived from unfamiliar roads. Since early July, astronomers around the world have fixed their eyes on it, and new data arrives every day. Now, in early October 2025, Atlas is approaching its closest point to the Sun, perihelion, on October 30th. But before it disappears behind the Sun's light, let's see what it has to say. Stay with me on Astrion Channel. Fresh images from the Gemini South Telescope show it's become more active, its tail longer, and its color shifted from dusty red to neon green. Why? Diatomic carbon molecules and cyanogen reacting with solar radiation. This color change is like removing a mask and revealing the true face. The latest updates from NASA and ESA say Atlas collided with a coronal mass ejection on September 25th. Models had predicted it, and now we're waiting to see how its activity changes. Maybe its tail will widen, or it will shine brighter. This collision is like a meeting of two cosmic forces, one from the local sun, the other from the farthest reaches of the galaxy. Its nucleus is now estimated to be the size of a floating city in space, full of secrets it's brought from billions of years ago. Fresh images from JWST show a gaseous cloud around it, the coma, like a shield that's protected Atlas on its long journey. But there's an even stranger mystery, something that has even made scientists doubt. A mass over 33 billion tons, so heavy that it has no non-gravitational acceleration, showing that Atlas is far larger than first thought. This immense mass is like a cosmic weight challenging the universe, forcing us to wonder if this is just a rock or something more. cosmos is like an ancient book, and Atlas is just one page, a reminder that time flows in layers. If this object is natural, we must look back 9 to 13 billion years, when the Milky Way was a vast workshop of stars and planets taking shape. Atlas likely comes from the thick galactic disk a cold, dark realm filled with old stars and ancient dust, where stellar explosions brought both death and a new life to the universe. Fresh calculations tracing the path backward show this object was ejected from that thick disk, perhaps due to a collision with a star or gravitational disturbance. This turns Atlas into a planetary relic, which could tell us how planets formed in the early universe. It even has astrobiological implications, perhaps bringing organic molecules that spread life across the cosmos. Thanks to fresh data from SphereX and JWST in September 2025, we now know Atlas is not just old, but from a different environment. Stars in the thick disk often have fewer metals, but Atlas is full of heavy elements indicating birth amid stellar chaos. And the latest research shows Atlas is probably not alone. It might be part of a larger wave of interstellar objects coming to the solar system. This idea is like the universe inviting more guests, forcing us to think if this wave is random or a sign of bigger changes in the galaxy, or perhaps clues from extraterrestrial beings. This object acts like a mad chemist. 
Its compositions are full of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, pure nickel, and cyanogen. Fresh JWST observations in early September showed the carbon dioxide to water ratio is very high, much higher than in local comets. This ratio caused it to activate earlier, even far from the sun. These gases are so cold that they can only survive in the farthest reaches of the cosmos. Yet now, near the sun, they're awakening, as if rousing from a long sleep. VLT observations in late August showed nickel without iron, something very rare in the nature of planets and asteroids in the solar system, since these two metals are usually found together in natural alloys. This separation is like an industrial process, which rarely happens in nature. Atlas's gas pulses have caught the attention of scientists. It's as if this comet is breathing like a living creature each outburst expanding and brightening its halo. But the strangest part in recent days has been Atlas's green glow. This color comes from the evaporation of molecules like cyanogen Cn and diatomic carbon C2. When sunlight hits them, they shine like a cosmic firework. Some say it's nothing more than a simple chemical reaction, but others believe this glow could be a sign of an extraterrestrial origin a mysterious message from afar. The most likely explanation for its green color is this. Diatomic carbon molecules break apart under sunlight and emit light exactly at green wavelengths. If Atlas were just a lifeless rock, it could never produce such a glow. This unique behavior makes Atlas seem like a mirror from another star system, built with a different recipe. And maybe, it carries the seeds of life itself. Even more astonishing, even when it was still much farther from the sun, over three astronomical units away, the Swift telescope managed to find traces of water in it, as if Atlas woke up much earlier than expected. And a weirder finding, Polarimetry observations from the VLT observatory show that Atlas's dust has a profound and unusual negative polarization, something we haven't seen in ordinary solar system comets. These signs tell us that Atlas isn't just a lump of ice and dust. It's a true stranger with unique features for which science still has no definitive explanation. At perihelion, its speed relative to the sun is very high. Interestingly, its orbit is also retrograde, moving in the exact opposite direction of most solar system bodies. Atlas reaches perihelion on October 30th, at the same time it positions behind the Sun and becomes almost invisible from Earth. But on September 25th, it collided with a coronal mass ejection. Maybe this will make its activity more and more spectacular. Its close pass by Mars on October 3rd presents a great opportunity. ESA orbiters like Mars Express and the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter will capture images. Later, in March 2026 near Jupiter, Juno might intercept it. But there's an even greater mystery, something that seems to defy the known rules. The reverse tail phenomenon of Atlas is highly controversial. Instead of like ordinary comets, where the tail stretches away from the sun and with the solar wind, it does the opposite. Its tail points directly toward the sun. Fresh images from the Gemini South Telescope show this tail has turned red. It's possible the color is due to the green glow of ionized gases around Atlas when they collide with the solar wind and emit specific light. This is where speculations begin. Some say this strange behavior might resemble the propulsion engine of alien technology. Avi Loeb even points to several red flags for a technological origin. Unusually large mass, strange chemical composition, nickel without iron, and the high intensity of the reverse tail. Natural weirdness or a sign of something beyond? There is no definitive answer yet. 
But Atlas has undoubtedly become one of the most mysterious interstellar visitors in recent years. There are natural explanations for Atlas's reverse tail on the table too. The simplest is that solar radiation pressure and gas outflows from the surface are stronger on the side facing the sun. Result? Instead of the tail stretching away from the sun as usual, it forms toward the sun. Most scientists prefer this simple explanation. However, exploring weirder scenarios, like the alien technology idea, is entertaining and challenges the mind. These mysteries keep us between two fundamental questions. Is the universe full of intelligent life? Or have we not yet fully understood and underestimated nature's laws? And then, looking again at the universe shows that many of these phenomena aren't alone. Sometimes, periods come when big and astonishing cosmic events happen simultaneously, like a collective harmony on a universal scale. The Age of Comets, when the universe comes in groups. Is the universe saying, be ready? Or is it just natural flow? Let's get to the Age of Comets, an idea from the 80s by Victor Klube and Bill Napier. Comets don't come evenly, but in clusters, like clustered traffic. Now, in 2025, Atlas has come simultaneously with SWAN, SWAN's closest to Earth on October 19th to 20th. This clustered arrival has higher collision risk, but not catastrophic. Statistics say every month a near-Earth object passes by us, meaning we're practically living in the middle of a cosmic party. Crowded, noisy, and of course, with risks. The universe is cyclical. It has periods of high activity, full of collisions and explosions, then calms down again. These cycles have proven time and again that the world is never truly quiet. This cosmic rhythm is tied to Earth's history, too. The biggest example happened about 66 million years ago, when a massive asteroid hit what's now Yucatan. The impact energy was equivalent to billions of nuclear bombs. The sky caught fire, massive waves traversed the oceans, and thick dust hid the sun. Result? Dinosaurs rulers of Earth for millions of years were wiped out. But that same catastrophe created a new opportunity. Mammals and eventually humans filled the giant's void. Cosmic cycles aren't just destroyers, they're creators too. And perhaps one day humanity, a civilization that hasn't even been kind to itself, will fall into that same merciless cosmic wheel and meet a fate just as painful. But, well, we dodged it this time. Atlas poses no danger to Earth. The probability of collision is almost zero. Its path is so far from us that we should view it as a scientific opportunity and a new cosmic mystery, not a threat. Atlas, much like Oumuamua and Borisov, has raised new questions in astronomy. The data we have so far is still incomplete, yet even this limited glimpse reveals some peculiar features. On one hand, its reddish spectrum, the absence of a clear gas tail, and its changing brightness could point to a natural origin, perhaps a rocky fragment or an icy body with a depleted surface. On the other hand, the lack of a clear explanation for certain behaviors, along with its unusual shape and reflective properties, leaves room for speculation about something less ordinary. So what do you think? What message could this interstellar visitor be carrying for us?